All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're up on top of the Land Cruiser here, uh, installing some of these Max Track uh, boards or the mounts. Um, I did find an easy way. So basically, with the bowfin rack, you have to pop off the the bar a little bit, uh, just enough to access the slot. Slide your stuff in there, screw it in. I did find an easier way to do that, or thought of an easier way to do that. Um, uh, do that, apparently. Um, I'll be right back. So, uh, not recommended that you drop these things in the uh, snow. Um, but that being said, have these things already pre-mounted, and then they will Fall off in the snow again. Fucking sweet. Hold on. All right, third time's the charm. Um, set these things on and just get them lined. Once they're lined up, they slide in, and then you can kind of make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. Um, and then you can come over. Put your max track board on there. Um, once you got them correctly spaced, you can come back here, lock everything down. Uh, I didn't have an extra hand, but I did get this correct the first time. Um, so I'm kind of a pro. Never mind all the dropped hardware in the snow. Um, so basically, just come and get that all snugged on. I'll be right back. All right, we're back again. Uh, once you get them all lined up, um, I did find, and I'm standing on a sketchy tailgate here. Um, it's rust testing to see if my tailgate is still strong. Um, I did find before you secure the mount, uh, retighten your crossbar. That way you can actually put some, some muscle strength on there. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a look here. Um, I forget who it is, uh, or who it was. Somebody had recommended putting these in the back. Um, and I originally was not going to, I was going to put them up front, um, there. Uh, but I do have a light bar. Um, and I don't know if I'd be able to get my Rome case uh, lengthwise. Um, so I decided that I'm going to put them in the back. And I'm actually pretty happy that I did. Um, I only have to pop the tailgate uh, to get to the boards. As opposed to um, one side and then two side over there uh, to open these up. Uh, so props on whomever... I think his name might have been Ben. Um, anyways, I'm going to give Ben the credit. Uh, if it wasn't Ben, um, I don't, don't want to say I don't care. Um, but either way, uh, props on that. I did go with it on the back. Um, that way I can just access them quick, fast. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Um, I'll be doing some more install videos um as my time gets allowed uh, i might just do a big compilation of everything all at once so this is either three mounts in one or just one so either way thanks for watching and just as an update um i did th thought i was gonna have to move this thing um i did come out here with my fancy dancy allen key um due to this rear spoiler um it opens up not touching the boards so it's not going to be a problem which is great because I stripped this guy out in the install and figured it wasn't going to be that big of a deal so saved by the bell um anyways uh thanks for watching guys <clears throat> hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your host cp6t himself uh, you can see we're way up high here and uh, doing some install. Got this fancy little uh, 
Rome Adventure Company uh, hard case. Thanks to uh, my buddy Craig down at Total Truck in Anchorage, Alaska. He was able to uh, have these and talk to me into buying one, so here it is. It's a pretty darn nice little case. Um, that being said, I'm limited on time, so just going to kind of get into the install here. <clears throat> what I do see a lot happening is people will drill directly into these here and mount them to the crossbars. Uh, I didn't like that as it is a watertight case. Um, very nice seal and drilling into it seems haphazard at best. And especially with my skill set, I'm sure people can do it um, that are more skilled than me, but it would be very dangerous for this fancy case if I were to do it. That being said, uh, I bought these. It's from the Sherpa Equipment Company. I did a review on it. Go ahead and scroll on back through the review if you want to see it. Um, basically, you remove the handles on the side that come here you'd move them off I moved them here that way if I do need to grab onto this as I oh I'm falling um, I will have a little handle here um, I'm gonna shorten this one because that one is shorter either way um, remove the handles on both sides these guys fit right in and it will sorry about the fingers bolt right into the crossbar so we're going to start doing that. I'll pick you guys back up um, as I continue the process. I am free-handed, free-handing, um, so I can't really uh, do this one-handed. So I'll pick you guys back up on the next step. i got to move this crossbar forward a little bit. This one will be in place. That's fine for now. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. All right, we're back. As you can see, or maybe not, um, got it mounted here. I was originally going to try this crossbar, um, but just the, the length and the adjustment slots here and there. Uh, I do have to skip a crossbar, which is okay. Um, I will probably use this for the Rotopax mount on the other side and offset them. So one here and one here, perhaps. Um, but you can see they're locked in. Uh, originally I was going to, goodness, um, originally I was going to have these on the inside of the bar, but I couldn't get any tooling underneath, um, underneath here. It'd be really hard to secure it. So, uh, I'm not going to. But that being said, uh, that's what it looks like so far. And we'll be back when, uh, when we are. Finished product. It's installed. Um, there is a little bit of a little bit of slop, um, and that's just from the brackets. But if that's installed, looking good. It's installed there. It's another beautiful day. <gasps> Can't him. All right, guys. Um, round three, Rotopax mount. Did the uh, Max Track, the Rome Adventure case, rigid light bar, and now the Rotopax mount. Um, as you can see, I'm precariously propped up here. Um, I have these guys here. You probably can't see them because my hands are in the way. Bam. My Royal Pax mounts is like, yes. Put another one there. I'll have to move that crossbar forward. But that crossbar is not attached. It's talking about how I'm going to have to stagger in between this one for that, this guy for the Roto Pax, this guy for the Roto Pax, and that guy for that. So I'll just have one extra little random bar. Um, eventually I'll move and I'll have a random bar up here eventually I'll move um, 
And what's nice about these is again, you have the hardware here. Um, so I can just loosen it and just slide them all on in a similar fashion I did to those mounts there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. I'll pick you guys back up here in a few moments and we'll go from there. As you can see, um, just in the process of unbolting or bolting it back on, this guy will move depending on where I want my roto packs. I'm going to uh, get this other one bolted on. Uh, one thing I did notice, the tension on this bar uh, from the Rome case is pushing down. So it was kind of a pain to get that on. Um, definitely a little, a little more difficult than something that's not working against you. Uh, the Rome case isn't super heavy, but uh, it is bolted in pretty well on both sides. So, um, I fought with it for a few seconds, but uh, we'll get it on, get this one on, we'll pick you guys back up, and we'll go from there. All right, I'm back. Um, so you can see, got my crossbars here. Um, left that one secure, mounted it, loosened this one up, moved it over, set the Rotopax mount on top to keep the spacing Mm-hmm. Keep the spacing uh, correct. Tighten down the crossbars. And then um, next step I'm gonna remove the roto packs, bolt down the uh tighten down um the mounts. And then I'm gonna call that a uh video. I'll go through the whole like and subscribe thing that I always do at the end of my videos. Uh, so I'll pick you back up probably uh, one last final time. Maybe two final times. We'll see. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, and I'll spend. Welcome back guys. Um, dun da dun dun dun. Pretty happy. Can't really tell that it is a stainless mount. The roto packs up there. Got the Rome case and the Max tracks. Just open up a door, hop, hop in the little footwell thing, grab the cans if I need them. Gas cap is right there. Look at that parking job, man. Super close. Backup cameras save lives. Um, yeah, guys, uh, that's it. That's a look. Do a final little walkthrough, and then I'll bid you guys adieu after I get my big self down from here. Do a little walkthrough, walk around of the uh, rig. We'll send you guys packing. All right, guys, thanks for sticking through. Start to finish. Uh, this is a sketchy walk around as I am walking on slippery icy snow. Got the Rome case mounted up and we'll eventually address uh, that handle there, shorten it up to match that handle there, but time being it's not necessary. Coming on around. Got the max tracks there, four of them, four of them, coming on around. Got the four gallon roto packs on the side. Um, yeah, guys, this will be uh, this will be pretty much it, man. This was kind of the build, um, what I was expecting. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, like and subscribe uh, if you're a sponsor or want to sponsor the channel. Uh, it's awesome. Send me some stuff. And have your stuff on the stickers. Um, but yeah, anyways, I do appreciate the uh, the views and the likes and the subs. Um, and as always, if you don't want to, uh, don't. But uh, 
guys have a good day. I'm going to go inside, get warm, and uh, we'll catch you on the trail.